If you're a dropshipper, you need to make sure that you're not making these simple dropshipping mistakes. What's up you guys, my name is Jaden and welcome back to the YouTube channel. I appreciate all of you guys coming back for another video. As I told you in my recent video, I'm gonna be posting every single Friday and I hope that you guys are excited that I have fulfilled my promise this Friday and we're gonna continue going forward. I'm not planning on missing no days in 2022. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the five dropshipping mistakes that I see so many dropshippers make. And I wanna let you guys know about these so that way you can avoid them. A lot of people will make these mistakes and that ends up, you know, they'll end up quitting or trying another business model. And I want my audience to be well prepared so that way when they get into dropshipping that they will not make these mistakes. So if you guys are excited for the video, make sure you go ahead and drop a like. That lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content here on the channel and also hit that subscribe button. We are so close to 500 subscribers and I appreciate all the new people and all the new faces that have been showing support on these videos. Like I always say, it really helps me keep pushing forward. And without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into the video. Dropshipping mistake number one, not choosing the correct products and not knowing what a winning product actually is. So my criteria for a winning product is that it needs to solve a problem. And nowadays with TikTok ads, your product doesn't have to necessarily only solve a problem. It can also be unique. So I would say it needs to solve a problem. It needs to be unique. It can't be easily found in stores. I can't just go downstairs to my local grocery store or my local uh, department store and pick it up. Um, it needs to be, you know, something exclusive. And not only that, I wanna make sure that I can at least charge $20 more than the cost of goods. All right, so now that you know what the criteria of a winning product is, a lot of dropshippers will be like, well, I already knew that, Jaden, but yet they'll still pick the wrong products. They'll choose products that they think is cool or that they like. And this is a really big mistake because it doesn't matter if you like the product, it doesn't matter if I like the product, it matters if there's a demand in the market for that specific product. So do not look at a product and decide if you wanna sell it based on if you would purchase it or not. I'm gonna be completely you know, transparent with you. Probably over 50% of the products that I sell, I would never purchase. So do not look at it that way. All right, so dropshipping mistake number two, and that is taxes. Taxes, when I first got started in e-commerce in 2012, was a nightmare for me. Um, I remember going to my CPA when it was time for me to do taxes and being completely confused. I was running every single transaction from my personal checking account. So I had like two different debit cards. I had no business bank account or anything like that. And it was, everything was all together. And that's why I advise that, you know, you get a business account as fast as you possibly can. So uh, basically my CPA made me print out all of my bank statements and go one by one transaction by transaction from January 1st to December 31st and label what each transaction was. So if I went to Subway, I'd have to tell her, uh, you know, personal expense. If I went to, um, you know, Office Depot and bought some, you know, office supplies, I would have to say, okay, this is an office supplies expense. You get the point. It was terrible. It was a nightmare. And I believe that um, I definitely didn't save as much as I possibly could have saved if I was a little bit more organized. So definitely get yourself a business bank account, keep everything separate and use something like QuickBooks. Uh, QuickBooks is what I use. It hooks up to all of your bank accounts and then everything is all organized. Also, you can use things on your Shopify store like either Order Metrics or B Profit, and this will um, let you know what your cost of goods are. It'll let you know how much you're spending in marketing. It'll let you know how much you're profiting and so much more. So definitely get on that. All right, so dropshipping mistake number three, and that's selling any product that is patented, uh, trademarked, or anything that's gonna get you into some legal trouble. Now, I know this sounds obvious, but you'll be surprised at how many people I see selling Nike dad hats, Nike elite socks, anything Nike, um, Disney products, or any other product that has a big name brand attached to it. Now, I don't understand why people do this. It makes no sense. There are so many products out there that you could be selling. And for me personally, if I even have to think about it, I'm just not gonna sell it. But there are some instances where you may sell a product that you had no clue and it wasn't obvious that it was trademarked or it wasn't pat or it was patented and you would have never have known unless you did some research. And that just comes with the name of the game. So I wanna tell you guys about a story that happened to me. So my very first business that I started, I was running an electronics niche store. I was basically selling iPhone chargers, power banks, and these headphones right here. Um, I know they look like a normal pair of headphones, but you're wrong. So I'm gonna get into it. So these are what I called zip buds. 
And basically what they are, they're just a normal pair of headphones. They have great sound quality. Um, they were selling like crazy. I was getting them for about a dollar, selling them for $35, which is nuts. Um, we almost dropped them. So basically you put them in your ears and the marketing angle that I was put, or that I was trying to put behind this product was that they were tangle proof. So there's a zipper right here. I don't know if you can see that, um, but you can zip them up and now they won't get tangled with your necklace or whatever you're wearing and uh, they're really cool. So um, yeah, what I didn't know after a month of selling these was that someone owned the patent for the zipper on a headphone, which is, I mean, how was I supposed to know that? So long story short, they ended up contacting me and um, I had to end up taking everything down. I hired a lawyer, so that's what I would recommend if you ever were in a situation like this. Um, hire a lawyer and um, you could probably find somebody on Fiverr that'll look it up for you. Um, if you don't want to like contact someone super expensive. Um, but I hired a lawyer, they told me that they had the patent and I was like, damn it, you know, I, you know, I was doing so well. But that ended up being the best thing that ever happened to me because that was the final straw. I was like, you know what, I'm done with this, I'm moving on, I'm gonna start a new business. And that led me to starting something that changed my life, which is Imperformance, which is a Garcinia Cambogia pill. Um, I got my first big success in e-commerce selling supplements. So if it wasn't for that situation, who knows how long I would have been running that store for. So uh, definitely get a lawyer if you were to ever get into some trouble like this, but just please don't sell anything that is super obvious. Like, come on, don't do it. Moving on to dropshipping mistake number four, and that's the thinking that dropshipping is a get rich quick scheme. If you think that, just don't even get into e-commerce because you are gonna be highly disappointed. You are gonna lose thousands of dollars in this business model from testing products. It may take you upwards of five to 10 products to find your very first winning product. And there's so many different moving parts. E-commerce has a huge learning curve. You're gonna have to know marketing. You're gonna have to know how to make a high converting store. You're gonna have to know email marketing, text message marketing, especially at the very beginning when you don't have like the team around you. You're gonna be kind of a one man show or a two man show or whatever, you know, how many VAs or people you have helping you. Okay, so you're gonna have to put in the hours of studying and watching courses and learning from other people on how to do these different things. And if you're in it for um, the quick money, you're not gonna put in that same amount of effort as I would. So, um, you know, just don't think that, okay? And I get it, you see the videos on Instagram, you see the videos on TikTok of people flashing this laptop lifestyle and, you know, showing off the Lambos and, and, the, and the watches and all this other shit that doesn't mean anything. That impresses people that ain't got shit. That doesn't impress other rich people. You know what I'm saying? Like if you came with a Lamborghini around, you know, Bill Gates or Elon Musk, you think they're gonna be impressed by that? No, they're not. But that helps them sell their courses or whatever stuff that, you know, they're doing. And, you know, kudos to them for doing that. But also don't believe everything that you see. You can easily go rent a Lamborghini for a couple grand for the day, flex it in your videos, okay? So um, don't be impressed by that, you know, that type of stuff. And also a laptop lifestyle, I mean, technically, I mean, I guess that is true, but it's a laptop lifestyle, but you also have to put in work, you know what I'm saying? It's not like a, oh, a laptop lifestyle, I'm gonna work one hour a day and you know make millions of dollars. That's just not how it works. That's not realistic at all. There's people that live laptop lifestyles, but they work all day on their laptops. So um, you know, think about it and really don't get into this thinking that it's a get rich quick scheme. You know, do your due diligence, put in the work, and I promise success will come to you. All right, I'm glad that we got past that one. I pride myself on keeping it real and being very transparent on this channel. But um, anyways, moving on to the final dropshipping mistake. Dropshipping mistake number five is not having a good mindset. Mindset is everything. And I know it sounds very cliche, like whatever, but hey, I don't care what information you know in this world, if you don't have the mindset to be able to carry out that vision or to be able to implement that information, you're never gonna get anywhere. And what goes hand in hand with mindset is not being able to sacrifice. A lot of people, they want short-term pleasures. They can't get away from those. They can't get away from um, always constantly going to the club or you know always constantly partying, hanging out with your friends, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. Like A lot of people just can't be alone, lock in, and just really focus on themselves. And that is a problem that you need to look inwards, okay? So you need to be able to you know, say, hey, you know what? I'm not gonna go out this weekend. I'm gonna focus on my business and get shit done. Um, but a lot of people can't do that. 
And if you start seeing some success in e-commerce and you keep doing the things that you, you know are holding you back, like going out to the clubs, you're gonna fall behind and your business is gonna end up failing or suffering because of it. So for me, some things that I like to do is I pray and I meditate every single day. This helps me stay calm and it helps me stay grounded and it really helps with my mindset. I also work out six days a week and that is a major key. If you're not in the gym, make sure you are getting in the gym. Even if you don't care what your body looks like, just going out and getting some exercise, whether that's you know going for a run, going for a bike ride, going for a walk, whatever the case may be, um, do it. It'll help you keep your mindset in check and also you know, no one says after a workout like, damn, I feel like shit after this workout. No, you always say, I feel great, I feel fantastic and that's gonna help motivate you, okay? Other things that you can do is, you know, watch motivational speeches, watch CEO interviews, like all of these different things that will, you know, motivate you and keep your mindset clear. Because I know that there's a lot of people who may not be in a situation that's truly best for them. I, I believe that you are um, the people that you hang out the most with. You are a product of your environment. And a lot of the times people can't really separate themselves, right? So the way that you can do this and make sure that your mindset is right and that you're listening to the right people is by putting yourself and acting like you are with a person that you aspire to be like on YouTube, right? That's what I, I would do, okay? So if I was, if I didn't have the right amount of people or the right people around me to keep my mindset right, I would just watch people that I aspire to be like. And um, you know, don't overlook this because a lot of people will make the excuse that their environment is causing them to not be able to succeed. But if you're constantly putting positivity in your mind, trust me, the sky's the limit. Oh, I'm dropping straight gems. But anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Um, those are the five dropshipping mistakes that I see so many dropshippers make. And um, you know, I hope you take some value from this and start you know, avoiding some of these mistakes. But before I let you go, make sure you go ahead and check the description. The free product research sheet is still there. Um, if you guys want you know, a way to stay organized with your product research, definitely go check it out. It's 100% free. And yeah, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and uh, leave a comment and let me know what you guys wanna see from me in the future. And I'll see y'all next Friday.